Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsusi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft where we still are true to this series name, No Mining. Last time we were in the nether, we thought yes we did, but we come back with a bit of quartz um, and also some magma blocks. Um, today we will go down in the open world not all the way down no 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 uh, not into the deep dark but what i basically need is a bit of slime eventually we will also need a bit of honey from the from the bees so we can then actually start some real farms um, but I think going down we might find some uh, uh, slime chunks down there um, and then I also have to think about uh, where to create our base or more accurate uh, in uh, industrial district like kind of base because um, base uh, basically uh, indicates uh, building but this series is more on the technical side so uh, which means farms uh, not so much uh, fancy structures we might come to that but that's not the first priority so let me get prepared and then we can go down before we dive into the depths, let's try to get a head start on our honey production by actually setting up um, a few uh, beehives. This should give us a start over there. Here on the outside, there are quite a few uh, stranded um, villages that somehow are unable to make it back. Nothing that I can help. Four beehives later and quite a bit of uh, breeding of the bees uh, already gets us some honey uh, and some honey blocks. So this is certainly something that will go on uh, until we have a substantial amount of uh, honey blocks. Uh, but then today we also want to get our hands on some slime so we also have slime blocks we will need that for a future project maybe even next episode so let me put this away and then we can go down into the uh, underground slime chunks acquired here in this direction there are three slime chunks basically next to each other or with one chunk um, beneath so if we activate here the chunk borders you can see a um, good portion of the chunks are in the walls uh, then the ground is not really flat so not really ideal spawning conditions but I think with a bit of TNT we might do some things and we might even get uh, a bit of uh, diamonds that way Blasting out these platforms took a bit more TNT than I expected, uh, mainly because this deep slate is very blast resistant. So uh, 
basically you just can get rid of one layer of deep slate around the, the TNT, uh, which uh, makes this quite uh, TNT intense in the use. Uh, along the way, I also got one diamond, and if I can find another one, uh, they are also available in loot chests along with a few more blocks of uh, obsidian that can also be found in chests on ruined portals, we can make ourselves an uh, enchanting table, which would really be great. But that's definitely not main priority here. As you saw in the time lapse, the three platforms for the slime spawning are now uh, completed. Two you can see in the back and the other one is just to the left of me. So I want to collect one stack of slime block which means I need nine stacks of slime. So that could take a while uh, but I will do that until next time. And then we will head out into the area that I have scouted for our uh, main farming location and build the first farm there. So join me next time for another day in Minecraft. Until then, goodbye!